Hey guys, my name is Elliot Greenwood and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple, basic 2D tile set for your games or just in general for drawing. For this tutorial I'll be using the Pisco Lab browser software so you don't need to download anything, just type in piscolab.com and you will get to this page. Now if you want to learn how to use this software, you can find a tutorial on my YouTube channel. I'll make sure to link that video in the description down below where you can check it out. It's very fun. I really suggest you to try it out. Anyways, to begin with, we need to set up this canvas. So first of all, I decided that I will be drawing the tiles in 16 by 16 because it doesn't require that much of a detail and it's gonna be cartoonish anyways and it's a very good choice for simple tiles. But if you want something else, you can choose any size you want. As long as it's 16 by 16, 8 by 8, 4 by 4, 32 by 32, 42, 8 by 48, 64 by 64, whatever you prefer. Or in my case, usually I like to draw them in 25 by 25, but it's really your choice. So we're gonna stick with 16 by 16. So there we go, we have 16 by 16 canvas size. The next step, go to the tile mode, which you can find in preferences, and just enable it. You can change the mask opacity, but I really suggest you to have it on 0 0.01 so you could see what the whole pattern looks like in the same tone. Because like this, it's a bit hard to see if the colors are matching or not. But you can just play around with it and see whatever you like. The canvas is set and now we can start working on it. So the very first thing I'm going to draw is the dirt tile. And when we're gonna finish the dirt tile, I'm going to show you what's the process of making that dirt tile into multiple tiles with edges and sides and all that. But let's just start with the simple dirt tile. Now we're gonna choose a brown color, obviously, so it's going to be around this area. Let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I usually like to select somewhere in this spot as a main color. As an optional colors, I like to go from this spot a little bit up, maybe somewhere in the middle and just get this color. You can see that it doesn't really fit much. So what I could do is just slightly check which color fits the best. And I think this one just nails it. And from this spot, I just like to go to the side and add another tone to it. It's usually between, in between this square, so let's just play around and see what kind of color we can figure out. It doesn't really matter which color you use, it's just your preference, but I'd like to have this one slightly darker and one slightly lighter colors. Alright, so I had a little play with the colors, and this is the main colors that I decided to go with. As I said before, a slightly more lighter color. Then a pale brownish, pale brownish, and color slightly lighter than I chose before. But as you can see, all of these colors fit within this square. We're just gonna save this palette. It's important step because if I'm gonna delete this color from here, it will get saved in this area. So you don't lose your chosen colors, which is good. So now that you got your color of choice, it's up to you which pattern you want to work with right now. Some games I've seen that use this type of pattern, I'm pretty sure most of you probably have seen it, but it has this kind of a wavy thing. But with my color choice, it doesn't really work, as you can see. Now, I've chose these type of colors because it works pretty well if I'm going to draw patterns like this. I usually like to add pluses, just scatter around randomly. And as you can see, we're already getting this interesting pattern. Now at the same time, we can add some dots like this. Try not drawing them in the line because that will just ruin the whole tile. And now, since we got this pattern, we're gonna add another color. Patch right on top, wherever you like. And don't worry about losing these things because that's how I just prefer to do it. First, smaller details and then just slap a pancakes on top of a tile and as you can see already we are getting this quite, quite an interesting tile. Now there's one trick that you can use which is drawing part of the object in this side and then the other side it will look even more interesting. So here's the final look as you can see it didn't take a lot of time at all. In fact it was quite quick. The matter of the fact all you have to do is just spread these 
patterns around. Make sure that nothing lines up when it comes to these dots or these points. It just won't gonna look nice. So there we go. This is what I came up with. A slightly bigger patch right here and then slightly smaller patch right here. And then I added three pluses and place dots wherever you feel like. But of course just make sure that they are not lining up as much. Because people will spot where the tile loops and that's what you want to avoid. So now when they're gonna remove the mask opacity, it is hard to tell where this tile actually stops looping. So now I can just fix some random dots that just don't fit. And there we go, we have our first dirt tile. And as you can see it was very easy to make. So my advice here would be just avoid lines. Just avoid keeping everything in, in like one line, just move things around play around and see what pattern you can come up with. This is my preferred pattern, looks nice, but as I said again, it's really your choice how you want to draw it. So now the next step is creating the tile set. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the select tool and select the tile, just control C for now, and we're going to create a new sprite. This will open a new tab, so don't worry about losing it. And as you can see already, we have a tile set color saved. So now I'm just going to resize the canvas to 16 times 4, which is going to be 64. And before I do anything else, I'm going to toggle off the tile mode, turn on the grid mode on 16 and 1 pixel or whatever you choose. Let's take red line and control V. And I'm going to move this tile right in this slot. The whole point of this window, that's how you're going to move the tiles from here to here. This is going to be the main work of your tiles because you can copy and paste your tiles and that's where we're going to edit them. So I'm going to copy this tile and then just copy this same tile on grid like that. And the whole point of having this set is that if you're going to add a dark outline, it's useful to have it because this way you will know which tiles are the edge tiles. So I'm just going to draw the lines like this and remove the corners of each tile. And just like that, if you will keep these tiles like this, you will have a nine tiles in the set. So this is how the sets will be made pretty much. And this is the dirt tile set that you can already use because the way this thing works, you can take pieces and as you can see, these dark outlines are already connecting and the tile itself has no issues. And this way you can build your world. That is if you know how to export these tiles into Unity, which I might showcase it later on. But now you're wondering what these extra slots are for. I'm just going to show you what's the next step. I'm going to chop these tiles. Just copy half of this tile from here, copy half of it from here. This way we will create pillars. The same thing will go for the bottom tile. As you can see that's how it will work. These tiles will act as platforms. Now you might see that there's last slot left, which you probably should see how this whole thing will play out at this point. And as you can see, this is a dirt tile set. A simple, the most basic dirt tile set you can have. Now of course if you don't like these dark outlines, you can keep just this tile. But I really suggest you to have some kind of outlines because that will make the tiles stand out more. But if you don't want the black outlines, you can always just choose a brown color and then just fill outlines and you will have tiles looking like this. And it looks quite nice as well, maybe even slightly darker. And in preview you can already see, you can see that these tiles are quite nice. And the reason why I cut off the corners is that this will show top left tile and this is top right. These tiles are barely used, but sometimes it's just good to have them. This is the whole principle how it works. So as you can see, all I did, I just drew one tile, copied it, created a new file, pasted it in here, and just with this one tile, I made a bunch of variations. Of course, you can expand and you can make a bunch of different shapes. You can create triangles, ramps, you know, just whatever you feel like you need like that or if you prefer two tiles that have two ramp or you, if you prefer four ramp 
tile. Of course, it's not gonna look as nice, but it's just simple, simple things like that. At the moment, I really suggest you just stick with these square, simple tiles, because it will make your life much easier. So there you have it. We have a dirt tile, a very nice looking tile, I must say, it's pretty nice looking. Now I'm going to add a grass layer. Now grass layer is going to be slightly more difficult, but if you're going to follow me, you'll have no issues. In the layer opacity, in the misc, I'm just going to set it on one. Click here and just set the current color like this. So the software automatically could add new colors. Also I created a new layer, so I wouldn't damage the dirt tile right over here. Before we start drawing tiles, I usually like to select a color palette for myself. It's really your choice what color you want to have your grass, but this is the color set that I like to choose. Just for now, to keep it like this. Sign color. Move the color slider up and the color itself up. And we're gonna get a dark green. Not very dark, but you get it. Then we're gonna move the slider up again. And we're gonna get a lime. Then we're gonna move slightly more again. And we're gonna get a really bright, bright green. Just select the top green color. And to finish it off, take a very yellowish green color like that. From what I've seen, most grasses have this kind of a cyan and a bluish color to the green, and most of the trees are drawn with this type of a color, which is quite interesting. So when I tested it out, and it, it worked quite well. So I really suggest you to use similar color set. So now that we got the colors, click the pencil, pencil right here, and just save. So now that we got the palettes, we can remove this grass. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select from the bottom to the top by the shade. And just from the middle, you can draw something like this. The technique here is just simple. You can just draw multiple Vs like that. Sharpen the tips. You can even add some gaps, just like that. Create this kind of a pattern. Then we're going to create another layer and we're gonna add different grass color. Working with layers is very useful. This way you can just mess about and not ruin the other patterns if you make a mistake. So what I've did now here, I'm just stroking up, basically. So just like that, just draw the, the other shades on top. And this way you will create a nice, interesting pattern. It's really simple and just, just, you just need to play around with it. So just like that, I created another pattern. You don't really need to focus much on the detail because you're gonna add more layers on top anyways. So we're gonna select another shade and again, the same technique, just draw randomly on top. like that and as you can see the whole thing is coming together into a really nice looking tile let's just leave the gaps in some places like that just leave some gaps change some spots where you think it look weird and then just keep working up with by the shade you will get this kind of a result you have a nice looking grass. Now I'm going to merge these layers together. So just merge all except the dirt tile. We still need it to be separate. So now we're just gonna fix colors itself. As you can see, the dark dark tones shouldn't really be at the top. So now I'm just clicking middle button, cl selecting colors and just changing some spots just to make the color fit in. And there we go, a grass tile. However, we're not finished. Here comes the main reason why I suggested to have these two layers separate. To add a final very nice touch, I'm going to shade it down by one tone, the dirt tile, like this, and like this. And to fix it up, select these colors and just work up one pixel outline and it creates this visual that this grass is sticking out. So 
And there we go. As you can see, the tile looks very, very nice. It's basic, it's pretty simple. Merge the final layers together and make sure that you select the top layer first before merging. So now we're gonna select this tile, I'm gonna create new layer, move it here, select the same dirt tile, move it to layer two, just copy and paste it, remove the dirt layer, remove the opacity grass tile, so here we go. And now we're going to do the same thing as I did the dirt tiles, create this set. And there we go. Now again, if you want to fix this this ugly black outline, take the brown color again, and you can keep it as brown, but if you want even more, you can just select green and just manually draw them all the way to the half of the tile. And it will look as good as it is, but multicolored tiles, it probably is best to have dark outline but if you prefer it this way it works just as well but maybe just select slightly lighter so now let's just remove the grid and let's see what it looks like doesn't look that bad but if you want more detail in fact you can just pretty much delete this side right here and just add dark outline right here this will make the edge tiles stick out more as if like the grass is growing out slightly more. This will make the tile look even more interesting. If you prefer it this way, you can keep it. But you have to do the same thing for all the tiles. But if you don't like that, you can make it like this to add even more depth of detail. It's At this point, it's really up to you. However, just be careful. If you're working on the side tiles like this, you have to make sure that the middle tile right here will loop. Just make sure that these lines, the top pixel and bottom pixel are connecting. And just like that, you can create an interesting and good looking tile. And as for a final thing, all I can do is just expand this to the bottom. So it would be 80. Then we're going to move these tiles down. Actually, I should move this one to the side as well. Just like that, delete it and Merge this down and just like that you will have a set of dirt tiles together with grass tiles and you can use these tiles anywhere. We have created a nice looking grass tiles with dirt tiles and for your own sake you can just go ahead and just play with these tiles. Just delete edges, add outlines and just see what really works for you. Now before I go, you can save these tiles right here, like this. Click the save button, type in just tiles set, and click save as Pisco. Now make sure to store this file in some folder somewhere, because when you want to add some changes, you can just drag this file right in here, and it will open back what you were left off with. And this way you can just modify them, change them, save them, upload the same file again in here, change tiles, save, and so on and so forth. This is my version of cartoonish tiles that look quite nice, quite easy to draw. That's the whole main thing about making tile sets. Draw one tile, and then from that one tile you work out and make all the variations. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, if you have any suggestions to what you would like to see me draw or create, make sure to drop a comment. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new, and I'll see you next time.